Of course, my family was very musical, but you also surround yourself with musicians. So everywhere there was music, could be a Maghrebian coffee shop open. Uh, I used to go in, since I look a bit Maghrebian, they, they welcomed me and I listened to Mukarsum, Paris de la Trache, all those musics, you know. The painting was important also, so in my life, so of course, uh, art was all over, all around me. You, you have to make that effort, you have to... I know because of the situation, I was not able to, to, to meet some of the singers. We have a tradition of singing in this country that is talking about uniqueness uh, that I haven't heard anywhere else, you know. People say, oh, it reminds us of some part of the Balkans, but it's the sound, it's a, just the language, it's like so unique. So, um, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to, to, to see that and to meet them, but uh, I'm sure I will be back. So uh, once again, um, everywhere I go, I need to to learn and to impregnate myself from uh, the culture. I think Brooklyn is magical. There's something about Brooklyn, and uh, I live in several places. Uh, I used to live in Long Island, in a bit in the city as well, which is pretty unique as well, in New Jersey as well. But uh, Brooklyn is, is pretty magical. So the city, I go there. I take my bike. My, uh, you know, I go by the Brooklyn Bridge. And I, I get that, um, that energy, but if I don't let that energy control me. But this is in New York that I met Miles Davis. Uh, this is in New York I met uh, James Baldwin. And in Newark I met Sarah Vaughan and uh, Dizzy Gillespie, all those people. It was on the other side of the ocean that I met them. I can't compare the, 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 that moment when somebody grabbed my arm and asked me for my phone number. I didn't know who he was. And uh, you know, that was, all, and that was Miles Davis. The time I spent a short time with Her Swing on Fire was fabulous, you know. The collaboration with uh, Lou Reed was interesting as well. Uh, I was lucky enough to work with uh, Lawrence Roberts and uh, in his church I learned the gospel, uh, playing bass with some of the greatest uh, gospel singers in the world. He himself was a producer and uh, the founder of Savoy Records, mm -hmm. the gospel uh, label. The album and the concept of a uh, most album because a dear friend of mine um, offered me a kit to do the, the, the DNA test, you know. You should do it, guys, do it. And I, I knew, I was, it's obvious that I'm mixed. I had no idea, I mean, of course I knew I had some African, uh, West African uh, blood in me, which I do, but Nigerian, I didn't, you know, I didn't imagine. Yet, I'm the first one who brought the Udu, uh, that drum, into the world of, uh, of, uh, of pop music with the album Nothing Like The Sun. Uh, the Celtic blood, uh, of course, United Kingdoms, uh, North of France, Brittany, uh, it's a lot in my blood, and of course, all those, that soul is there as well, you know. Martinique, it's all mixed, you know. All the, the, the above, the, 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 from west to, to east, above uh, North Africa and beyond, you know, even Turkey, you know, I'm, all of this is in me. Polish, I, I say, so the past 15 years I've been working a lot in Poland and tried to learn a little bit of their language and learn about their, their music, their very incredible Slavic traditional uh, music. And all of this is part of all the music I've been writing for so long. So. The explanation, I guess, is in science too, so crazy. <laughs> it's the soul, the honesty and uh, the soul uh, are part of every music in the world when they are played with honesty and soul. Tomorrow, I invited uh, Ayana if she wants to jam. Uh, I'm going to meet Becca, uh, a great uh, musician from here. And uh, my um, uh, guidance, my suggestion, humble suggestion, will be uh, listen and feel and tell a story. I don't want to hear notes, chords, uh, uh, melodies, not much, a story. So what you put in the melody, in the chords, why, and you can tell a story by not playing. So this will make the music, it feels like if we, we know each other forever. And, uh, if we play with that honesty, then it, the fusion will be magical. Because I know it happened to me many times all over the world. Made people uh, we just sit and play. And it's not just knowing the instrument will take time, more or less, depending uh, of your abilities. But to bear your soul, be that honest, and tell a story, 
I'm not saying it's better, but that's what, that's what will touch me. That's what made me cry the first time I heard Maria Callas, not knowing that was her, or the cassette. Who is that? Um, Umkaltum, Saravon, uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Armstrong, Django Reinhardt, Jimi Hendrix, all those folks, Miles Davis, I, I, it was the same effect to me. Yeah, sometimes I, I do, because I think it's important. Sometimes it's good to just play and everybody imagine or feel what they feel. So, projects, yes, we're going to keep on touring. Uh, hopefully, um, uh, Neil will be able to, to join me again in the uh, adventure of that duet. There is, um, I, I went back to do quite a bit of solo concerts because of uh, that situation, uh, Corona. My partner could not make a lot of the concerts. So, I will go back to, to, to the solo quite a bit at some point with a visual. Um, there's also a group uh, where I'm going to mix uh, the old music from uh, Guadeloupe and Martinique with, uh, uh, with some of the songs I have. And uh, uh, the, in this group, you have a bass player, a guitarist, and singer who is from Guadeloupe. Uh, so, and his father used to write, to write many of those old music. Uh, there is, uh, uh, his name is Thierry Fanfant, and there is uh, Geraldine Laurent. Great sax player from France, so she's very jazz but very open, so welcome. And Janisette McPherson, who is Cuban singer pianist. So you have all of this, uh, so that's a project um, coming up pretty soon. Where before dawn, rise up and come. Rise up and come. Rise up and come. Rise up and come